Hello everyone, I hope you all are fine and welcome to the section number 7 and in this section we are going to set up an AI based email support system. So guys let's get started with that. So as uh, you already know in the previous sections we already configured the AI chatbot system for our websites. Now it's time to set up an email support system. So why we need an email support system uh, for our uh, support system. Actually the issue is that for example if you have a one email or two email or even 10 or 20 email on a daily basis from a customer it is a good to go that uh, you are you can easily reply to them but still there is an issue for example uh, you are busy and you didn't have a time to reply back them uh, on time so this is the biggest issue which uh, led to uh, loss in the business so with the help of AI and the Vectorshift.ai, we will automate the customer email support system. So how this works, and now this is the setup that the, uh, here we have a customer which is sending the email uh, to our to your company uh, support email. Now uh, instead of a chatbot, we have a automation part which will receive an email and send that email content to the pipeline and then pipeline uh, will do some processing according to the guideline that we provided to our uh, open AI node and it will take the data from the knowledge base and uh, generate a draft. Uh, we are not sending directly email to the client because uh, maybe uh, you need to modify some things so that's why uh, our pipeline will generate an email and send it uh, as a save it as a draft in your mailbox and later you guys uh, quickly review the email and send them uh, within a couple of seconds so uh, if we talk about the in-depth uh, overview of the system we will take the input from the automation uh, which definitely works when there is a new email at our email box okay and then uh, it will query our knowledge base as well as uh, send the knowledge base data and the query to the OpenAI LLM and later on we will send our output to the uh, Gmail node. So guys and now uh, this is the in-depth overview that how our system will work. So guys in the next video we are going to deploy our pipeline. So guys get ready for that. See you in the next video. Have a good back, guys. Oh. So in this video we are going to set up our email. So guys let's get started with that. Okay click on the new and click on the create pipeline from the scratch and here we need three input nodes one is email underscore body which contains all the email message in that input okay the other one is uh, email underscore sender or we can say that sender underscore email underscore address okay and the third is email underscore id now uh, this email underscore id is a little bit confusing maybe you guys are thinking that this is an email address no this is not an email address whenever a person send an email to another person then email server assign a unique id to that email to make all the things under the same thread so that's why we need that email id to put all the responses under the same thread so that's why we are taking that and we will not assign anything manually we will take all the data from the automation and we will assign the automation data to these input nodes so that's why we are planning to create these three nodes okay so now what we are doing is we are going to choose the knowledge base knowledge base of over 97 because we are going to deploy uh, email uh, support system for our e-commerce store okay so the email body comes here into the query okay and next we are going to use the LLM open AI and here we need to write something or 97 is an e-commerce store sorry e-commerce store dealing in IOT and electronics electronics components okay now uh, you are acting as a email support agent and you need to answer the user email according to context okay here we have user email and the context so we need to add these two prompts here okay user 
user email okay user underscore email and underscore to make the prompts separate okay context and here we have a context okay now we are good to go here our email body comes here okay and just give me a second to make minimize uh, and our result will go there okay now we have these two nodes there okay maybe we can shift these nodes to there and these two nodes will work directly with our uh, system okay now I think it looks perfectly okay now the third uh, sorry not a third it's a final node we're not going to use the output but we are going to use the integration and here we have gmail integration okay and we need to select your action uh, create an email draft we are not going to send a, we have an option to send email but uh, you can say that draft email but I will say create email draft okay and here we need to use the subject recipient and the body and already our account is connected actually for this demo purpose we need these two accounts one is my educational account and this is the email address uh, we are assuming as a support email okay and here I have another email uh, from where I will generate an email to the uh, system okay so that's why already this support email is connected there so what we need to do is here is we need to send the response to the uh, uh, what I can say is uh, under the body and I will say draft reply yes now if you see here there is a difference between the create an email draft if you have a if you want to create a, a email draft from the scratch then you need to use a create an email draft but if you want to reply to a previous email as a draft or you want to write a draft for an uh, already received email then you need to choose a draft reply because here we have an email ID which will be used to identify the things okay so here on the top we have a recipient okay sender email as a recipient and the response comes under the body and this email comes here the body and now we need to save as OR97 AI based email support system okay and we are good to go <clears throat> so guys uh, this is our pipeline and in the next video we are going to uh, deploy as an automation uh, where we will connect all the things with the email and we will do the final testing. So guys, see you in the next video. Welcome back day. guys and in this video we are going to deploy our email assistant pipeline uh, in the production. So just click on the deploy and click on the automation and here we need to select an app. So I'm going to select the Gmail because we want to receive the email and we need to select the account already my account is associated if you want to connect another account you can click on the new and it's a simple to connect okay now click it uh, click on it and here we need to select an event so uh, right now we have just one event new email okay and here we need to assign our name uh, of automation okay or 97 support email automation okay and we need to choose that I uh, choose the trigger so here I am setting up for the inbox that uh, I'm not uh, uh, configuring the event for the spam we are just configuring the event for the inbox if any will receive in the inbox okay so here we have content okay we need to map it with the email body here we have all the pipeline ingredients email body send underscore email address email id okay so the content uh, goes with the email body or, or you can rename uh, your pipeline input name to the content okay and the recipient comes under this okay no 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 not recipient it's actually the sender comes with the sender email address okay and the email id comes under the email id as you see here it's an email id it's not an email address and if we say sender then this is a different but if you want to 
uh, check the recipient what does it means then the recipient means uh, our support email okay so that's why we are not going to use the recipient we are going to use the sender and the good thing is that it's also showing the sample data from the real-time inbox okay so now click on the save and we are good to go and congratulations our automation has been deployed successfully if we go back and under the automations we can verify it again and here we have a or97 email support system just click on to the deploy and now it's finally deployed okay and if you click on the edit then you will see all the things that all the things are processing okay now in the next video we're going to uh, send a uh, sample email and we will see that uh, how the things are going on okay guys see you in the next video welcome back time. guys to the last video of that section and in this video we are going to test our email support system so guys let's get started with that okay here uh, i'm checking that in the automation tab you need to verify that your automation is deployed or not deployed okay these are not deployed and this automation has been successfully deployed that's why it's saying undeploy okay or you can say that a stop icon is there so already i uh, crafted an email uh, by the way this is our support email uh, actually it's my student email and i am assuming it is a support email system uh, there is a another inbox and here i said iot hardware equipment inquiry and the email type uh, sorry the main content is hello or 97 support team we need the following equipment for our project so would you please confirm that these components are available in your stock number one question and another question is where are you guys located this is the second question and which payment method do you prefer this is the third question and this is the complete list mkr1 1300 mkr wi-fi 1010 lora van devices waiting for your prompt reply so now this is uh email which contains three questions now we need to see how it reacts okay click on the send and uh within a couple of seconds i will receive that email here i'm pretty sure okay i'm just waiting <laughs> yes uh, our email is there okay uh, now we receive the email now I am navigating to the draft and waiting uh, for our pipeline and automation that how they are reacting actually it will take a couple of uh, seconds or a minutes to generate a draft actually depending upon the system availability so uh, I think uh, we don't need to worry about this stuff because uh, these are all the process uh, which are happening on the back end and our node is also a little bit slower due to the chat GPT uh, latest version so we need to wait here welcome back guys and here we have our email draft so if we see here that how the AI is replying to that email so it's typing dear user thank you for your inquiry regarding the availability component for your brother we have the following items in our stock you can find more details and uh, uh, add them to your card they have a url here or when devices available in stock as for our location we are an e-commerce store and our operations are mainly online we do not have a physical store but we serve customers uh, worldwide through our website regarding the payment methods we accept various payment options including credit card debit cards paypal and a bank transfer you can choose blah 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 if you have any uh, further question or need assistance with your order please feel free to reach out to us we are here to help you now imagine how it is a perfect answer and you are receiving emails around uh, 50 to 100 emails on a daily basis then how it is easy to just see all the content and click on send 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 without take caring uh, where we need to send or not because ai is automatically take caring of all of the stuff so these are the benefits that we are getting from the automation, especially using the vector shift.ai to automate our all the process using the AI. So guys, I hope you like that section and see you in the next section. Have a good day. Bye-bye.